the Blue Java Suckers, my name is Game Over, and welcome back to Borderlands 2. Now, it's been a while since I play, went, since I went back to go and play this, mainly because I've been getting so many new games, and now that I have... Um, yeah, don't worry about whatever they're saying. So, it it's because I have so many games, I'm getting so many games now that I have gold, and I am so happy with all my games. Um, I'm downloading Dragon Age still, but do not worry. My Dragon Age should be finished soon, and I shall play it, I promise. But, right now we're going back into here. Uh, the mission is Burn Vandal. So, if I remember correctly, we now have to go and get the Vault Key. Which shouldn't be that difficult, since I've done it before. Uh, need to be a level 15 to be able to beat Wilhelm. Ah, shiz, I think I just gave some of it away. Uh, yeah, right now we have to go to there and we're gonna beat Wilhelm, which is a very hard boss battle if you're not level 15. So I suggest that you get level 15. Also, I did some grinding off camera. I think I can if I show you, uh, where does it show my money? Damn, I forgot some of this. No, what happened to all my bad ass? Oh, there's my money. Okay, so yeah, I have four million fifty what five hundred and one hundred thousand six hundred and twenty-four. Man, I'm bad at counting. <laughs> all right, so I need a. I need a burning weapon. Do I have any burning weapons? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's go and get to the place that we need to get to. Ah, but first we need to pick up our this just in. Yes, he has lots and lots and lots of guns. Also, a friend of mine has given me 500 of these little tiny little guys that I like to call... Uridium. There we go. I almost forgot the word. He gave me 500 of these. And his YouTube name is NinjaBoy777. You should easily find him on YouTube. It's not that hard to find him. But... It's a perfect time for me to also introduce the actual reason why I like this area. I can customize... I, I get to choose what type of gun I can use more often. But my grenades are... Uh, grenades help me more. Preference increases the amount of items you can store in your bank by two. Uh... Yeah, I'd rather go pistol. Wow, okay. Yeah. Alright, I love paying for stuff. Alright, there we go. I just maxed out my... I just maxed out everything. Seriously, that's awesome. My turn? Great. Oh, these guys are, ver are playing darts with knives. Watch. Grab knife. Skladoosh. And he hit there. Fladoink. And he didn't. He didn't even get close. None of them are getting any close. They suck at that. Anyway, so. Um, so. 
when you are here, it's best, and you have loads, loads of money, try doing this. Keep on pressing Y until Moxie then then does this. If you keep on clicking it, then oh. she'll give you then she'll give you this. The act bad touch. That's how you say that? One challenge down. So Moxie gives you her least favorite gun, which is which does corrosive damage, and then this happens. Spending all that money on little old me? How generous of you. Here, this is my favorite gun. You understand. Then she'll come on, just hurry up. Then she'll give you this. The Miss Moxie's good touch. Bad when I'm bad, I'm better. Okay. Which, it does fire damage, which is incredibly good. These guns are awesome, and it's easy to get it, and yeah, basically everything. Oh, and also, if you want to know, the mi these two are submachine class guns. So try and ma so if you want a whole bunch of ammo with those, you better get, you better max up your submachine-ness in there. But, I'm not gonna do that right now. So... In this video, I'm just going to go and beat Wilhelm and then leave. Goodbye, Claptrap. Oh yeah, there's a little mission. Did I show this mission yet? I hope I did, otherwise... No, yeah, I already showed the mission. Okay, never mind. Uh, we're all good. Let's just keep on rolling. Rolling. <laughs> rolling. Get that joke? Yeah, horrible jokes. Yay. Fight back. Join the resistance. No, thank you. I work alone. Call the duty man away! I haven't got the right mission set. So, a train to catch. Meet Roland in Sanctuary. Oh, okay, so we need to talk to Roland. Aw, oh, damn it, but I just spoiled everything. Damn it. Check before you say stuff, you stupid game over, game over douchebag. I pretty much just spoiled... Thank you. I pretty much just spoiled everything. I spoiled what Roland's gonna talk about. I, spo I spoiled who I'm gonna be fighting. I spoiled what we're gonna be doing. Ugh. I'm a stupid douchebag. How the hell did those bandits snag you, anyway? Was taking a leak. Knocked me out. Wow, you are a dumbass. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Total dumbass. I was joking, dude. I'm happy to see you. Oh. Thanks. This is where you say you're happy to see me, too? Oh, uh, right. I, uh, it's good to see you. <laughs> Smooth. Yeah. Handsome Jack is gonna kill us all unless you can stop him. He means hi. That's his way of saying hi. Right. Sorry. I'll be honest, soldier. We're losing this war. We've been trying to stop Jack for years, taking out his men, raiding his iridium mines, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah. But you, you met Jack and lived. Not really. He fought off the rippers and the bloodshots. Saved my ass and Lilith's. Thanks, by the way. If we're going to survive this, we need your help, Vault Hunter. Now, we thought Jack wanted to open a vault and use its power to wipe us off Pandora, but thanks to some intel I stole from a Hyperion convoy, I found out we were wrong. What? He's not gonna open a vault. He's going to control it. I'll just go ahead and repeat myself. What? The vault Jack's looking for isn't an alien prison or a cache of weapons. It's a living thing. An ancient Iridian warrior, powerful enough to destroy all life on Pandora. Whoever awakens it gets to control it. Hell yeah. That sounds bad. If Handsome Jack gets it. If Jack wakes the warrior, yeah. But, but if, if we, we control the warrior first, we can use it to wipe Hyperion off the map. Right, we are liking like this plan. There's a problem. We need the vault key to wake the warrior. And, and Jack's, Jack's already got, got it. it. But if you've spoken to Tennis... She didn't vomit when she saw you, did she? She does that sometimes. <laughs> she might have told you the key needs to be charged with the rim. We're racing against time. Every ounce of that stuff that Jack mines from the ground puts him closer to taking control of that warrior and wiping us out. We gotta get our hands on that vault key. Now, if 
Anybody knows where that key's being kept? It's my spy out in Tundra Express. He's as good at gathering intel as he is at drinking. So I'm sure he's sleeping off last night's booze right now. You'll need to get a fire weapon to wake him up. I'll explain when you get out there. <laughs> Yay. So basically, yeah, I've already seen this full game. I've never noticed that. Is that Tiny Teen up there? You'll know who Tiny Teen is later. But I did not notice that. That is so cool. Bunny Tiny Tina. Yay! I like Tiny Tina. That would be me. If I lived in this world, I'd be Tiny Tina. Just a boy version of it. Of Tiny Tina. What I need to do is just burn a whole bunch of peoples. That should be easy. Vi These are little vile guys. What? They can evolve themselves. After a certain amount of time, when they come out of their nest, they can evolve themselves to become a massive flying thing. Burn! Burn! Ah, shiz. Don't worry, I got this. All I need to do is just get next to this thing and then burn these suckers to the ground. Come on, just get close to me. Just get close to me, everybody. Come on, getting close. Well done. Now, set some more on fire before that one Fridge. Fridge, fridge, fridge. And burn! Yes, I did it! Yes, I did it! So now we wake up the most coolest person in Borderlands 1! It's Mordecai and his little BFF, Bloodwing. Best feathered friend. Wow. So angry. Ah, so, so dead. Angry. So dead. <laughs> hey, Vault Hunter. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna switch this one. Welcome to the Crimson Raiders. Throw this! Oh yeah, that's how they evolve. If my intel's correct. Secure the key, get drunk, pass out. Just like an Irish person. And no, that's not racist, it's a joke. Tiny Tina talks to me. Now, this is why I like her. This is why I like her. Boom! Absolutely. <laughs> I absolutely love Tiny Tina. Her mind works so well with mine. Just blow everything up, and then everything's fine. Ladies. <laughs> She's just so childish, which she's 13, she should be a teenager by now. Goleth, run on the train tracks, I'm sure that that's safe. Whoa, no! Train! Oh, that was close. The train never used to come while I was running on the train tracks. That never used to happen, but that's awesome. They has got a gut full of dynamite and a booty like <laughs> Uh, Tiny Tina. Whoa! Goleth, Goleth, Goleth! It's over 9,000! 
Please don't run me over, train. No, train! So it kind of lets you know before the train comes, but it still goes incredibly fast, so... No, please don't hit me away. Come on, my little turn. Go, little turn, baby. Yeah, little turn, baby. Got it. Tiny Tina. Okay. Now watch this. Yes, gotta be alone. And look, there's a picture of Tiny Tina and Roland. That's kind of actually creepy. stuff up. Twin sisters, man. Oh, take them. Take them, take them, take them, take them. And then we take them both. And set them up. Great. Good, good plan. Great plan. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, that's why I like it. Try and hit me. Try and hit me. Got ya. And go. Hey, <laughs> got you. Bring it on, little chicken face. Boom! Bang! No! Quick! Explode! I don't think anybody likes you. Go! Boop! Boop! Yep. Which means I have to poke these bellies. Oh yeah, I have to poke both of them. That's boring! I don't have time to poke both of them! Oh snap, son! I hear the train coming! Counting down! Ten! Nine! I got bored. <laughs> that's exactly what Tai has said, and that's so me. Burn all the babies! Ha <laughs> ha! That is so cool. All right, now this is where this is where um uh ah damn it corrosive damage. This is where corrosive damage comes in handy because of the fact that these robots are now here, which is really annoying. And notice how they're on fire and they're not taking any damage? That's why you need corrosive to burn armor. Or burn metal. Yeah. And I'm not level 15, which is going to make killing um, Wilhelm really difficult. Ooh, shields. Sorry, I burped. <laughs> Boom. I just got myself a better shield. Now, for the hot pot, I need a... I need a mix of fire and corrosive because I'm going to have to verse Wilhelm and a bunch of robots. And then she just had to say Wilhelm will be guarding it because then... Oh dear. Yep, oh dear. It's a trap! The bulky's battle on the train. Abort the mission, Sorkin. I'm sorry, but you can't handle Wilhelm. Trust me. Kid, Wilhelm nearly killed us all in New Haven without taking a scratch. If things get bad, just run. The bandit will be The bandit's wrong, Red Hunter. You can defeat Wilhelm, I promise you. Yes. Yes. Apparently, um, Miss... Apparently, Miss Angel thinks that I can beat Wilhelm, which I actually can because the story places it that way, but seriously. Oh yeah, I hate these guys. <laughs> oh, you hate that. Oh, damn it. Stupid missiles. Stupid missiles. Ah, 
I am really bad at this. I'm not good with the assault clause to help you when you are sucking. Which I am right now, but who cares? And he is gone! Yep. Nope, he doesn't. Ow! Now, this was the problem to begin with. This is what made everything go to shit. Are you guys ready? Because you guys are about to see what I've been holding back since last episode. What I told you about Angel. You ready? Yeah. And the shield's gone. Shove in that new core you found harder than a shiv into a truck's again sternum. Sorry, old crimson land saying. Yay. And now here's the problem. Now look. What the hell? Hey, you know, I think it's finally time to tell you that little secret. Angel's working for me. Yep. Lowering sanctuary's shields, Jack. Executing face shift. Yep, the shields are now lowered. Da! Nicely done, Angel. Now, let's kill ourselves some vault hunters. Yes, so while everything is going to hell, we just need to act like nothing is wrong. What? No! Oh, I forgot not to stand there because that oh because the center opens. Yeah, because this thing opens. Don't worry about me. Grab as much iridium as you can carry. Get it to Lilith. And usually that would kill would like destroy your legs and you would never walk again. But Roland is way too awesome for that, and that can just never happen in this game. Yes, get to the center of town. There we go. Lilith, take it. I've never used this much. Might want to hang on to it. Okay, uh... Stay in-house. Nah, actually, I want to see this. Whoa! Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. Sorry, kid. That was an accident. I'll see you on the other side, though, I promise. It actually works! Now, before I say anything, now before you see any, uh, wonder what they're talking about, Jack, Handsome Jack, thinks that, um, Lilith is dead. Handsome Jack thinks that Lilith is dead and she's never coming back. Then, watch, and we all know that Lilith is not because we just saw her. away into the distance never to be seen again i know you're angry at me right now but we don't have a lot of time i'll explain everything just get to the fridge it's the only way to reach the highlands i detect lilith might have phased your city there okay angel i will trust you angel also known as traitor um but yeah 
So basically, Hansel Jack has now realized that Lilith is alive. They, the city has just skyrocketed into the sky, and I have zero clue where it will turn up, even though I know exactly when it will stop teleporting. Uh, but I'm going to have to say that for the next episode. I know that this episode is shorter than my last episode, but I have two reasons why... I have one reason why it is short, and then I have another reason why I still wanted to make a video of this, while smoke is just going to go off forever over there. First, the reason why this is so short, I don't really have much time today. I also have, I have to, like, I've recorded more Kane and Lynch videos, so I kind of have to um, edit those while I'm editing this one. So, and I also have to go and have dinner and everything with my family, and because loved ones are best, I have to go and have dinner with my parents and all that, so... I got lots of stuff to do today. I also want to play some other games. And as much as Borderlands is probably my favorite video game, I do like playing other video games because games are cool. Yeah. Um, and the reason why I wanted to play this is because I haven't played this... I, I haven't made a recording of this in a while. And I realized that I told you guys that I was going to stick to one full playthrough of... of Two full playthroughs of two games, like I'm playing Borland, the full Borderlands 2 walkthrough now, and then I'm going to play the full of uh, Kane and Lynch, and then I'm going to, when those games are over, I start another full Let's Play of another game and start another one. So basically it just keeps going around in full circles. So... Yeah, I haven't actually played this in a while, and to get the story over with, I have to play this game way more often. So, don't expect me to not play this as often anymore and stick to other games. Because as much as other games are good, I need to get this out of the way if you want to see a full Let's Play of something else. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like it, if you liked it, please hit that like button, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button to see more awesome games that are just like this awesome game right here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I shall see all of you in my next video. Bye! That, that outro was way more intense than my other outros. Damn.